What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Thursday, March 28th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the Draft Dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay, who do we have at the point guard position? I like Spencer Dinwiddie from the Brooklyn Nets playing the Philadelphia 76ers, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they're also middle of the pack defending opposing point guards. Spencer Dinwiddie has scored 29, 29, and 16 fantasy points in the last three games, averaging 29.3 fantasy points per game on the season and an average of 28 minutes per game with a 26% usage rate. Spencer Dinwiddie is 5,400 DraftKings salary. He's 400 more on FanDuel, projected at 34.1 fantasy points here tonight. That's 6.3 times the value. That projection looks a little high, but I like Dinwiddie's chances at hitting 30 fantasy points, which is over five times value. This is a home game, a fast paced game, a game that Brooklyn needs to win. Dinwiddie should get plenty of run. I like Spencer Dinwiddie here versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Remember we added projected ownership and that will be updating throughout the day as injury news changes. We also added the fantasy points per minute stat here for each player. And we also added a stat that's new to the industry. We call it the hit percentage, and it's the percent chance this player has to hit value at his current DFS salary. And you can access all these new stats, even on mobile devices, by tapping the dash rank icon. Okay, who do we have at the shooting guard position? Eligible here at shooting guard on DraftKings is Derek White for the San Antonio Spurs playing the Cleveland Cavaliers who have the 10th worst defense overall, and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Derek White has scored 27, 17, and 37 fantasy points in his last three games, averaging 23.5 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 26 minutes per game with an 18% usage rate. He's been playing 27 to 32 minutes the last three games. Derek White is 5,200 DraftKings salary. He's 1300 more on FanDuel, so I love that DraftKings price. Projected at 23.2 fantasy points here tonight, he's going to need about 25 fantasy points to hit 5 times value. There's an implied total of 218 points in this game. This is a home game and a fantastic matchup. I like Derek White here on DraftKings versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. So our DFS tools for MLB Baseball are now live and working. You can click on the MLB tab to change sports and check the tools out for baseball. They're really helpful. They're going to save you guys a ton of research time. Really happy baseball's back and we're going to have daily baseball videos coming up as soon as the season starts. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, who do we have at the small forward position? I like Tobias Harris from the Philadelphia 76ers playing the Brooklyn Nets who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they're pretty good versus opposing power forwards. Tobias Harris has scored 26, 29, and 36 fantasy points in the last three games, averaging 37 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 35 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. Tobias Harris is 7,000 DraftKings salary. He's 300 more on FanDuel, projected at 37.7 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.4 times value. This is a home game, a fast paced game. There's gonna be a lot of shots in this game, a lot of rebounds. I think Tobias Harris can get a double-double here. And he's got good team history versus the Nets. He put up 41 and 51 fantasy points in the last two games versus the Brooklyn Nets. 
I think this is a good spot for him. His price came down a little bit, and that's kind of what hooked me into him. He's due for a big game. I like Tobias Harris here versus the Brooklyn Nets. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. I like Pascal Siakam from the Toronto Raptors playing the New York Knicks who have the third worst defense overall and they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Pascal Siakam has scored 21, 41, and 38 fantasy points in his last three games, averaging 33.2 fantasy points per game on the season and an average of 32 minutes per game with a 21% usage rate. Pascal Siakam is 7,500 DraftKings salary. He's the same price on FanDuel, so I love that FanDuel price. Projected at 32.4 fantasy points here tonight, he's going to need about 36 fantasy points to hit five times value. Kawhi Leonard has been ruled out for this game, so Pascal Siakam gets a nice minute and usage bump with Leonard off the court. He's one of the guys that benefits the most, and he's in a smash spot here versus the New York Knicks. The price is right on FanDuel, so I like Pascal Siakam here versus the New York Knicks. Okay, moving on to the center position. So up top, I really do like Joel Embiid at 10-4 DraftKings and 1,000 more on FanDuel playing the Brooklyn Nets. I think he's in a smash spot, big men versus Brooklyn. So I just wanted to highlight Joel Embiid before I move down to another pick at center. I like Nikolai Vucevic from the Orlando Magic playing the Detroit Pistons, who have the seventh best defense overall in their middle of the pack defending opposing centers. Nikolai Vucevic has scored 57, 50, and 43 fantasy points in his last three games, averaging 46.9 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 31 minutes per game with a 28% usage rate. Vooch is 8,500 DraftKings salary. He's 1,600 more on FanDuel, so I love that DraftKings price. You're getting a huge discount on Vooch at 8,500, who's projected at 48.8 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.7 times value. The Orlando Magic need to win. Nikolai Vucevic has been on fire the last three games, playing heavy minutes, and I expect more of the same tonight. So I love the value of Nikolai Vucevic on DraftKings. And don't forget about Joel Embiid. He could be a monster tonight versus Brooklyn. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.